aliasing is when you give a second name, but you're describing the same option, or the same object. And let's create another, I'll just duplicate this line. We got rectangle B now, B dot uh, X equals 100. Uh, let me comment this out so we can remember what it looked like last time. You know, I think we're having too much fun here. We're just gonna draw one box. I don't wanna animate it. Well, I always want to animate, but not right now. So we're going to draw this one box right there. I'm going to uncomment this. Let's go way up to 200. Uh, so this should set the X coordinate of the B box to 200. Look at that, our box moved. All right, so why did it move? Because in memory, there's one rectangle. There's only one line of code that says new rectangle. So there's only one rectangle in memory, both of box and B point to this rectangle. So keep that in mind. Uh, I could just as easily draw B and it should be exactly the same thing right there. Right, now we can do some tricky stuff here. So if I do box equals null, you might think, oh, that rectangle will stop existing. What? It's right there. So if I try to draw a box, now we're going to have some problems. Look at that, no pointer exception. So what happened? Here, this box now points to null. However, where does B point? B still points to the original spot in memory. So just because you set something to null doesn't mean it stops existing. It just means you lose that reference right there. But I can still draw B which pointed to that same place in memory. So this gets a bit tricky. There's only one actual box in memory, but it had two names to get there. It's sort of like having a shortcut to a file. Uh, that's what an alias is.